WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. 24 hour temperature cast shows those numbers starting near 70. A little bit on the warm side for now early October and likely perking up into the mid 80s this afternoon. I think it's going to stay pretty warm again tonight and it's going to be a little bit more muggy throughout the day and maybe throughout most of this week. There are some showers out to the west. We'll see if any of those can hold together and move this way today. I think some can, but better chances for more of us to get wet and maybe a nice little round of showers and thunderstorms possible tomorrow, maybe right around the middle of the day. We'll see how that window changes, but right now the past couple of hours not showing a lot of showers in most of our area, but we've got some fog to deal with out there and there are going to be some flooding concerns way off to the west where it could be a real soggy day again today. So things are changing for the more unsettled. There's going to be a lot of available moisture, so it won't take much to take some showers out of the clouds. So we need to be ready for that over the next several days. It's 68 degrees right now in Thomasville, 69 in Valdosta, where it's 70 in Tallahassee. So yeah, a little bit on the warmer side of normal. Almost everybody a couple degrees either side of 70. So definitely we'll call it 70 ish and muggy out there this morning. There's not a lot of breeze to stir things up. So places like Perry, the visibility is greatly reduced. A lot of areas are going to find some patchy fog out there. So be careful on the roads. You know the vermin are out there lurking. Now the story is going to be this little line of showers that tries to move our way and gets a little bit, I think, stronger by the time it gets here tomorrow. And then instead of bringing a boundary straight through the area and clearing us out, drying us out, I think what happens is it all gets stuck across the southeast. More energy develops and we end up with multiple chances for showers over multiple days. And all that points to more unsettled when it looks and feels like it should be raining an awful lot more than it does. Plus that icky, sticky, muggy feeling is back. Maybe not quite as much so as a couple of weeks ago but definitely enough where we're going to notice it. So Futurecast wants to bring a pretty decent round of rain through the area at times tomorrow. I think I see another one on tap for us on Wednesday, and then maybe on the other side of that, we can finally start to dry things out. There's this messy area just east of the Bahamas that's got some life to it. Now, what does that mean? Not a whole lot right now. There's not a lot of organization. I don't expect it to really quickly develop into anything, but certainly when you do have something like this, there is the potential that it can turn into something, and that's a little close to a lot of land areas, so we'll certainly keep our eyes on it. We still have Hurricane Sam that is still going after like 10 days of being a hurricane. Impressive for this time of the year, and we've got Tropical Depression Victor out in the middle of the Atlantic that's falling apart, so no real threats to any land areas. We'll just keep our eyes on that area of disturbed weather north and east of the Bahamas. On the Gulf today, winds out of the south and southeast and pretty light. We'll have some of those showers at times. I think the story is going to be about more humidity. Low tides first up this morning, starting a little after seven. Going to be muggy. The sun comes up at 733. 60s and 70s likely top out in the lower and mid 80s, depending on who's getting showers and who's not. Better chances for showers. That's coming, and I think that's tomorrow and maybe Wednesday. It'll stay pretty muggy again tonight with more patchy fog. And as we go out to the extended forecast, Hopefully it gets better at the end of the week. Maybe we can bring in some drier air by Friday and the weekend, but that's towards the end of the week. First, we've got the beginning of the week, and I do see those better chances for more showers.